Hi everyone, it's Jorik with Provoke Racing and today we're gonna discuss the opportunity to buy a racket bike here in Thailand. So if you ever wonder if it's possible to buy a salvage bike in Thailand, if it's worth the hassle to do it and what the point you should pay attention at when doing so, then this video is made just for you. So can you buy a racket bike in Thailand? The short answer is yes. We just did it with a Yamaha R3 uh, that we bought yesterday. And um, is it different that buying a second-hand bike? It's not much different than buying a second-hand bike. There are a few points uh, that you're gonna have to pay specific attention at when you buy the bike, uh, but otherwise it's quite similar to what you will do uh, when buying a second-hand bike. Um, so how do I source this bike? Uh, this specific bike, I found it on Facebook. Uh, I use a lot Facebook Marketplace and I use a lot uh, the Facebook group and Facebook pages in general um, to source all the parts and all the things I need uh, for my bike, uh, either for my um, commuting bike or for my race bike. Uh, I'm gonna use the same, is, uh, I'm gonna use my network and I'm gonna use Facebook uh, mainly for my uh, sources. Uh, so the best things to do is uh, when you go on Facebook, you, you're just gonna search for group um, from which the specific topic is the bike that you're looking for or the brand that you're looking for or the parts that you're looking for. Uh, on Facebook, you can find group that's gonna resell uh, Aquapovit, Ejo's second hand. Uh, you're gonna find for the bike. You, you can find pretty much everything. And um, the good thing with Facebook is that each time that uh, you're gonna like or you're gonna join a group, um, you will have recommendation for other group or other pages that are related uh, to the topic that you're searching. Uh, so what I do is, is I just uh, follow these leads that are provided by Facebook. I just follow them and um, I, I get a bunch of page and a bunch of, of group that I follow and that allow me to um, uh, to keep up to date with what is on the second-hand market um, here in Thailand. So to talk more specifically about what you need to be uh, attentive at when you buy a record bike here in Thailand um, is mainly the green book. Uh, so that is the same that for a second-hand bike is the green book. Everything here in Thailand is about that green book. Uh, so the thing is with a record bike, um, chances are that the green book will be marked on page 18 that the bike has been salvaged. And uh, once it has been down, it cannot be undone. Uh, so the green book will always be marked as salvaged bike. The first thing is uh, when the bike is salvaged, you cannot take it on the road anymore. So the first things you will have to do with a salvage bike when once it's repaired is that you will have to bring it to the DLT, uh, make uh, get the bike inspected uh, by them, and get the book changed so that you can ride it again on the street. The problem is even if you do so, um, the green book will still have uh, the notification that it has been a salvage bike. So it reduces a lot the value of the bike. Um, and, and there is not much that you can do with that. So if you're planning on, on taking the bike uh, on the track and you not, don't want to take it on the road, that's, that's not a problem that much. Uh, but you must be aware of that, that okay, the book will be marked and there is no way that, that you can change that. Um, another thing is that you will have to transfer the book. So even if you're going to make a race bike with your bike, uh, my advice is to get a clear book that you can transfer your name on it. Uh, why? Because some event and some track day that are um, meant to be for a customer, like for example for Yamaha customers, the Yamaha challenge and the track day that are organized by uh, Yamaha, they're gonna ask you to have the green book on your name. If you don't have the green book on your name, uh, they're gonna ask you to have an authorization, a written authorization from the owner of the bike book. Um, and so that might be complicated for you to have that kind of paper and that kind of, uh, that kind of information and to contact the people. It's just, it's just not gonna make it. Um, so my advice is really, like for any bike you buy second hand in Thailand, is really to make sure you get a clear green book uh, and that you can transfer your name on that green book.
uh, without any trouble. So now we are at uh, the garage with the bike. We're gonna get it uh, repaired. Uh, the, so the good things, like I explained, is that I have a lot of spare parts uh, for, for this bike from my racing bike. So it's gonna be a bit like plug and play. Uh, just replace the broken parts with my uh, uh, new spare parts and uh, we will be good to go. So uh, we're gonna let you for now and uh, we will catch back on the video when the bike is ready again. So we have a little interruption in the uh, repair process. Uh, so as you can see the bike was almost ready uh, pretty much everything has been done on it uh, all the front face has been replaced we got all the parts from uh, from Yamaha and uh, from my own Arsam uh, to put it back on on this one uh, but then uh, we figure out that the bike was a little bent uh, so from the from the frame it was a little bit bent so it will not fit properly uh, so we did not expect that we did not see it uh, we did not see it when we bought the bike at the first time uh, so it's just now that we um, put it back all together that we realized that little issue uh, so now we have to take the bike uh, to a shop nearby uh, to get the frame straight again uh, we hope it's not gonna be too costly and that it's not gonna have too much influence of, on the bike handling and on the on the bike quality uh, so we're gonna see that now we, we we're taking it to the shop and uh, we're gonna see what what will be the verdict uh, on this issue there we go so it's been about a week now that uh, we start working on this bike and we finally get it uh, ready to be sold and ready to hit the road again. So it's time for us to answer the question, was it worth it? Um, so the short answer would be that it's not really worth it because it took us a lot of time um, to get everything ready on this bike and, and to get it into the condition that we want. Uh, we got a few surprises uh, when we start rebuild the bike. Um, so basically, the, um, the bike right now is worth about is worth on the second hand market about uh, 60 to 65 thousand Thai baht, and you definitely can find a bike uh, in this price in this condition already already on the market, and for the price that it cost us to rebuild it, it cost us uh, 60 thousand Thai baht to uh, rebuild it. So basically the rebuild cost us the bottom price of what you can get already on the second hand market. So it's a lot of time and a lot of money uh, to invest inside a bike without having a big result and a big uh, profit out of it. So if you have the time and you have the resources and you have some spare parts at home and, and it's your hobby and, uh, and you're happy to do it because you learn things and you meet with people and uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's, it's your hobby and you get your time uh, occupied like that. Then it's, it's really worth to do it. Uh, you are proud of yourself to have rebuilt a, boy, uh, a bike by your own and uh, it's really nice. But if your main goal is only to get a bike, get it registered and ride with it, uh, then you definitely can find bike in this condition in about the same price that the rebuild is going to cost you. So it's a bit up to you um, to see where you're at and to see what, what you want, uh, to see how much you value your time. Um, and and that, that's how you're going to make the decision uh, to go for it or not. If you have the resources, if you know where to find a bike and you know where to find the parts and you know, you know all that things, um, how to make it happen, then let, let's do it and have fun doing it. But again, if, if your only goal is just to commute with the bike and get a cheap bike, um, you, will, you will have 100 times easier to get the bike already in that condition and at that price on the second hand market. So in order for you guys to have a better understanding of what we've been through to rebuild this bike, I'm gonna break down in the description of the video all the spare parts and, and their cost that we've been using uh, to rebuild this bike. So then it's up to you to adapt this cost uh, to your personal situation and see for yourself if it's worth it or not. At the same time that we were doing this bike, we found this uh, Rec Yamaha 
A3 that we're gonna use for track bike. Uh, so we will be using this bike for training purpose, we will be using it for a beginner rider that want to learn how to ride on the track, that want to learn how to put the knee down, uh, and so we're gonna rebuild all this bike for this purpose. So if you wanna know more about racing in Thailand or if you wanna join us on the track, I invite you to uh, follow our next video. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.